Hello tadpoles, how are you? I hope you had a very nice New Year's Eve. I certainly did. I went and watched today's topic, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And let me just say, it is so good. I just want to say quickly, please leave a comment because I, I would like to be able to get better at reviewing movies for you guys. And it, I would really appreciate it if you could give me some tips uh, on how to do that. So. This might have some light spoilers, but I won't really be discussing anything that isn't shown in the trailer. Alright, so let's get into this. Puss in Boots 2 may honestly be the best movie of this year. It is action-packed, fast-paced, and it just has so many meaningful moments that kids and adults can enjoy. It is so good. Words can't really do it justice, but I'm going to try. So, Puss in Boots is an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, it is very fast-paced and action-packed, bouncing between meaningful dialogue, uh, fun jokes, and uh, action, like epic action scenes. It's a perfect balance of all three, and it really drives home the messages and the themes of the story. That is, of family and death, which is pretty uh, somber for a kids movie but it works great speaking of that it is a bit violent for a kids movie if you have any young children and you want to watch this just be wary there is some blood in this and there is some uh honestly kind of scary scenes so all the character pretty much all the characters have character development even the bad guys except for one jack warner he is just the worst um yeah so all of them have character development. They all get better in some way by the end of the movie. There is set up for a next one and it is honestly welcome to come at any time. It, like, uh, that's how much I love this one. The, ne like, the next one can just show up whenever and I will watch it no matter what. No matter what I'm doing, I'll put down what I'm doing and I will go watch it because of how gosh darn amazing this one was. The actual style of this movie is beautiful to look at on par with Avatar. It has its own unique style of like watercolor, 3D, blended with 2D for like fight scenes and for like the villains and stuff. And it just goes together perfectly to create a masterful visual spectacle. It, it shows a vibrant world in which Puss in Boots lives in, contrast to the dark and gloomy... Um, tone of his existence going into the later parts of the movie. This movie has some of the best fight choreography I have seen. The fights are always wildly entertaining with little uh, bits that change up the environment so they're not just standing still fighting. The environment changes and there's just so many beautiful colours in the background working together to and, like, along with the amazing set up with the characters that make it a really emotional battle that it and then like the visuals add to that even more so they just come together to be the most beautiful pieces of art like fight scenes i have seen in a movie in ages it is put together the fight scenes are put together so beautifully it's hard to explain like when like they draw their weapons you know stuff's about to go down and it's really good and it makes up for some really intimidating characters as well. It is a really mature concept for a kids movie, I will say this as well. So just a brief overview, no no big spoilers here. It should be all shown in the trailer, I think. So, Puss in Boots is a cat, right? Cats have nine lives. Puss has died eight times. He is content about going a like about life like he normally does when he has this one interaction with someone that changes everything for him uh, so it is a ma mature movie because puss is haunted by this interaction throughout the entire movie and finally has to overcome it at the end but it is it, it makes for some really scary scenes because of the build-up that this character like the bad guy has had and it's really amazing. It does show like Puss dying and it's in a, amusing ways, but honestly dark, like there's this one 
a past version of Puss in Boots that was a weightlifter, and he like lifts up the bar and drops it back. Like he says, "I don't need a spotter," and picks up a really heavy bar, goes to do like some bench presses, like picks it up off the thingy, moves it over, and then just drops it on his head and squashes it. It's violent. He also falls off a tower. You know, beside the deaths. So there are some scary and intense scenes in this. But if you can look... like If you have young children that can look past it, this will be the gold standard for movies they see going forward. This is just such a good movie. I may just say as well, just quickly, I did not want to see this movie. It was either this or a documentary about digging up like a, a dead person in the parking lot. And I didn't really want to see either. So for me to like come here and rave about this movie so highly to you guys must show something like of significance about it and how good it is all right just at the tail end of this this movie has one of the best openings in a movie i have seen it perfectly sets up the rest most of it is shown in the trailer uh so he fights this uh a big giant thing and there's songs and everything's really upbeat and happy and then he defeats the uh giant in like a fun way everyone's smiling there's like music playing and stuff really good really entertaining but then he gets squashed and dies this changes the tone of the movie entirely it goes from like this fun campy movie to like a somber and mature movie mostly through the rest of it the only reason I am deducting anything from this movie is because they have a little bit of marble humor in it. Nothing harmful, low levels of gamma radiation. That can be harmful. You know where like characters make quips at times when they probably shouldn't? There is a little bit of that which kind of drags it down towards the end. But um, that is my only critique of it, pretty much. This movie is out of the ones I've reviewed on this channel, this is the best one by far. Well, not by far, by a bit. But you should definitely go watch it. I think it's not doing that great at the box office, so you should go watch it. It is well worth your time and your money. All right, I give this movie a 71 out of 75 grapes on a bunch. I hope you have a very pleasant day. Goodbye.